Lisa. Let's cut it into two equal pieces. Equal means the same. We need two slices for our cake, so let's put them both in the bowl. Yummy! A pineapple! Or Panya! We need one third, so we'll need to cut it into three pieces. Oops, that was trying to roll away. Let's use it for our recipe. And how about this brown fruit? It's a kiwi, also called a kiwi in Spanish. Wow, it looks neat inside. And we need one half, so let's take one of our two pieces for our recipe. And finally, our last fruit is this big juicy watermelon, or sandia. We need only one fourth, so we'll cut it into four slices. And we'll take one of those four slices and put it in the bowl. Now we need some sugar to make the cake taste sweet. Sugar is really yummy, but you don't want to add too much because it's not healthy. So we'll just add one spoonful. Sugar could come from lots of different plants, like sugar cane and even beets. I think this will be enough to make our cake taste extra yummy. Now let's add one slice of butter. And finally, we'll add some magic pound cake mix. This will be our secret ingredient. Great, now it's time to mix it all up. Here we go. Now let's check it out. Whoa, cool. Look at how awesome it looks. Ew, it's wiggly, jiggly, and so colorful. Let's add a rainbow of sprinkle colors. Starting with red or rojo. Great. Now let's add orange or naranja. Whoa, this is starting to look really cool. Now for yellow, or amarillo. Here comes green, or verde. 